and I manage the Greenway Education Program. Normally our educators are out on field trips teaching students about forest ecosystems and salmon and land and water issues and how to be good stewards of the environment. While schools are on pause, we want to offer some engaging education here in this virtual space. So we're making a series of videos all about salmon, one of our favorite topics. And you can tune in to, for the whole series to learn about the salmon life cycle, starting with the egg, ending with the spawner, and what salmon need in their habitat to thrive, as well as threats that salmon face, and what you and I can do to help protect salmon. And each week we'll have an activity that you can do at home. Now if you've already learned about salmon, you may know the names of the Pacific Northwest salmon species. I'm going to teach you those names and how to remember them on your fingers today. So go ahead and put your hand up like this. On the thumb is the chum, or the dog salmon. On your pointer finger is the sockeye, like don't sock yourself in the eye, or the red salmon. On your middle finger is the Chinook, or the King Salmon, which I remember because it's the biggest finger and it's the largest salmon. On your ring finger is the Coho, or the Silver Salmon, and on your pinky is maybe the easiest one to remember. That's the Pink, or the Humpy Salmon. All of these salmon are pretty amazing creatures because they're born in freshwater streams, they head out to the ocean to become adults, and then after a couple years they come back to almost exactly where they were born to spawn. Now in this area we're pretty lucky to have another kind of salmon that I'm going to tell you about. It's called the kokanee salmon or the little red fish. And this salmon is extra special because it actually doesn't go all the way out to the ocean. The kokanee salmon is born in a freshwater stream in the Lake Sammamish watershed basin. They become adults in the lake and then they head back upstream to spawn. So the way that I remember the kokanee salmon is I take my hand, where we've just learned the five other kinds of salmon, and turn it over to make a lake. That helps me remember the little red fish that lives in Lake Sammamish. All right, now it's your turn. So grab a piece of paper and a marker or a pencil trace your hand and write the names of the salmon on each finger and then either kokanee or the little red fish on your palm. And if you want to take it a step further, you can even look up uh, what these salmon look like in their spawning life cycle stage and draw them or choose your favorite one and draw that. And we would love to see what you create. So I invite you to email a photo of your drawing to education at mtsgreenway.org and maybe we'll share it on Facebook. Remember to tune in to the next several videos that we're making about salmon. Um, we're going to go through the whole life cycle starting with the egg and I will see you next time. Bye!